everybody and welcome to Trina Killick Designs. Tonight I'm going to be painting this cute little stack pumpkin with everybody. Um, this is actually the one that's going to be um, shipped off. Shipped off. Shipped off to um, Miss Amanda Daniels. She was the winner of the um, this pumpkin. Amanda, and you are the first one to come on. Honey, you are the winner of this cute design here. After I get it painted, I will get it shipped off to you. Um, the way I chose my winners, I gave my daughter some numbers to choose from, and she chose the number seven. So when I pull up who shared, and I just went down and counted, I know, right? You probably wonder where she can actually ship off my leprechaun as well so I will be shipping both of these off to you so what I did is when I pulled up all all the people that shared and I counted down to the seventh one and you were the number seventh so hey miss Ann hey miss Dory hey Tanya hey everybody so hey, everybody <laughs> so Amanda I asked earlier about some no, colors no, no, no. Okay, well y'all gonna have to eat in the living room. <laughs> the family's home, y'all, so it might be a little bit crazy. And it's dinner or supper time, so they're like, we gotta eat. I'm like, well, y'all gotta eat somewhere else because I got the pain in here. <laughs> so, um, what was I saying? Oh, and someone suggested doing it mustard, like a teal color and the green color. So what do you think? And I also got my little pouncers so think about putting some dots on it too but still giving it all the shading and blending and trying to see how that turns out so it would actually be like this dutch aqua color the king's gold which is kind of like a mustard kind of yellow and then the spring green you may be able to see uh i don't think you can see those colors hey sharon but they're really pretty colors. They're just kind of, they're light. So, hey, blessed your page from Mississippi. Well, thank you so much. Is it Leanne? Thank you so much for blessing my page. If y'all don't mind, bless my page, sprinkle the love around. I was um, so appreciate that. So I'm just gonna get started in painting. Y'all have any questions, y'all just let me know. Oh. And also, tonight, y'all, is the final night to get signed up to be part of my Inside Scoop group. If you have no idea what that is about, that is my amazing group that I have where I teach you how to cut and paint your own door hangers. I have also added a membership, well, a bundle membership. And the bundle, bundle mem membership is where I will actually ship, if you're not like all into the whole cutting your own designs out, the bundle membership is where I will ship you the two designs that we do that month. So um, that's an option now. That one is $67 a month. And just the regular membership where you actually cut your own designs out is $37 a month. Hey, Miss BB. Hey, Karen. So glad I found your site. But Karen, I am so glad that you found it too. All right. Can y'all see this pretty good? I'm gonna go ahead and get started painting and keep on talking. So, so Miss Amanda, since this is heading your way, are you okay with like doing the King's Gold and the Green and the Aqua? I mean, I think it'll be really pretty. Really, really pretty. You can kind of see the colors from a distance a little bit better than me getting them too close up. All right, well, I'm gonna go with it. Let's see. Let's do, let's do the big one, the aqua color. Hey, Trina from New Jersey. Well, hello. And I didn't even get it. I'm just going to use my plate. I'm not going to worry about getting my ice tray. So, yeah, if y'all don't mind, sprinkle the love for me. It always helps us out and getting us out there with the way Facebook works. And if y'all have any questions, y'all please, please ask. Hey, Jesse. 
All right, let's get started. Um, let me give this a good little shake. Sure, you create it. It will be gorgeous. Well, thank you, Amanda. No, thank you, though. All right, let's go in with this aqua color. This is a real light color. It is not dark at all. And then we have the Bahama Blue, and I'm gonna use it to do a little bit of the shading with the Bahama Blue. If you are not in Scoop, you need to join. Trina is an amazing instructor. We have so much fun. She shares her creating, her crafting and painting skills with us. Well, thank you so much, Miss Dory. Yes, my inside scoop, I, I get off track, y'all. I have squirrel moments to where I'm talking, and the next thing I know, I'm skipping to something else. So y'all have to kind of overlook me. <laughs> but on my inside scoop, what, it, what you get by joining is every month I provide you with two templates, and those templates uh, is like this. If you're not familiar with what templates are, the templates is actually... Um, a paper design to where you actually use to trace onto your wood to get your actual door hanger. And then you would cut this out out of your wood and then have your little, your design there. So I provide you with two of those a month and I show you a tutorial on how to actually get each one of those designs cut out using a jigsaw. And then, hey Teresa from Oklahoma, and then I actually do a tutorial for each design and getting it painted. And I kind of try to show you step by step on how to, um, I'm gonna take you down a little bit more, on how to do different techniques and just get the designs on, on your wooden door hanger with the paint, whether it's doing it whimsical, we've been doing, I've been trying to learn a lot more with shading so I can actually get in my group and teach them a little bit more about shading Totally didn't see that you put it in the live. Oh, you're fine, Christine. Thank you so much. And um, so I've actually like joined other groups and stuff just so I can kind of learn different things. So I can always learn different techniques and new techniques to be able to teach my insiders. So everything that I learn, I get on that group and I share everything that I know about anything to do with door hangers and painting. All right, I'm trying to find the brush that I think I'm gonna need for this one. And then we even have a craft that we do each month. Sometimes they can be a little bit challenging and then sometimes they're easy crafts, but they, I find that the crafts are really, really fun. And I think a lot of my insiders have really enjoyed doing the crafts. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna double load my brush with um, these two colors and go ahead and get around my edges. And I'm gonna have my floating medium just in case I need it to kind of do a little bit more blending if my paint dries out since I like to talk a little, a little much. Hey, Tiny. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna double dip, double load, just putting a dark blue and a light blue. I'm gonna come over here to the edge and I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. These colors may wind up being a little bit too close to each other. And if they are, then I will just do some more blending with a darker color once I get it, get it on here. And then in my inside scoop, we have a live Q&A to where I come live in my group for y'all to ask any questions and for us to kind of discuss what we did that month and what is to be expected for the upcoming month. Are the templates for sale like the one that you just showed? Um, yes, Miss Judith. Um, they were actually just added today. So, and Christine just shared a link, a link, a link below if you want to click on it and head over there and get it but anybody that wants to join my inside scoop y'all click the link above get on over there and and join and then come back and let me know that you joined and it is on a monthly subscription plan to where it's um 
a recurring payment that comes out your that comes out every month but I will not keep you hostage you will be able to cancel anytime that you get ready to cancel hey Trina how are you hey Sharon I am good how are you I am good good I'm gonna flip my flip it around a little bit so I can kind of get this side here I will get my edges as soon as I and see how you can kind of tell the different shades on this can y'all tell it from y'all's end hello Stacy sometimes it don't show up as good as it does on my end as it Shows, it don't show up as good for y'all as it does on my end. That's what I'm trying to say. Now I've got to say, y'all blowed me away. The other night when I came on here and painted the first one with the sharing and just coming on and chatting with me while I was doing my live, I was like super amazed and impressed. I was like, wow. So y'all made a girl feel good. And I appreciate that. You for such pretty colors. Thank you, Jesse. Hey, Dwayne. Is it Dwayne? My colors are kind of separating a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna try um to do the tour cross color. The, well, it's aqua. The aqua color, the, like a mint spring green color, and then a mustard color. So we're going to see how those colors come. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my, my light color. I'm going to flip it back around this way. Sorry if I'm moving it around a lot, but. And I am a little bit slow when it comes to shading because it's something that I'm still getting kind of used to. But if you're just hopping on and wondering who the winner was, Miss Amanda Daniels was the winner of this pumpkin. Hello, Miss Sher Miss Shirley. Hey, Miss Wanda. Vanessa, what kind of wood do you use? You have done barely nothing so far, and I already love it. Well, thank you, Vanessa. I use the quarter inch birch wood, and if I don't use the quarter inch birch, then um, I will use the half inch birch. Just depends on the design that I'm doing. If I have a design that has some really thin, like angles or something, um sticking out then I will go with my half inch wood and like I said I use all birch but I have found out that there are so many different companies that makes the wood so for around here I'm not crazy over like the revolution plywood <coughs> but there's so many other like door hanger makers out there that absolutely love it. So I'm thinking that with the different companies, they are made differently. So just because I don't like it doesn't mean that, you know, y'all won't like it. So if you want to try like the Revolution Plywood, you know, definitely try it because it's definitely on the lower, like the cheaper end with the cost. I mean, who doesn't like a, a cheaper wood that will do work just as fine as an expensive one? All right, so I'm just going to do some blending and get this kind of looking right. I need to get some of that medium, a little bit of my medium. 
anytime you're doing shading and it starts to kind of like not blend a little too good, dip your paintbrush in some water or either use some floating medium and it'll kind of help it smooth on there a little bit easier. And I am gonna take it and add a little bit more of the, um, or maybe some brown just to add a little bit more color to here, to it. I should have got me another plate. So does anybody have any questions about how exactly my end scoop, inside scoop works? Sorry y'all if I'm missing. What color is that blue? Um, Miss Shirley, this is Dutch Aqua from Folk Art. I actually just picked this up from Walmart today. You are nailing that shadow look. Thank you, Miss Shirley. I've been watching, um, been watching Miss Allison and learning girl. Hey Gabby. Oh, thank you, Christine. Thank you, Gab girl. All right, so this is it so far. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna add a little bit of brown to it. Not a dark brown, kinda, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try to add a little bit more, kinda some more highlights in the center of this. And this is Vintage White by Folk Art. Let me give it a good little shake. I'm going to use my same paintbrush. I'm not going to rinse that or anything. That's pretty color. Thank you. And I'm just going to kind of go in the center of my pumpkins. Just to kind of, can y'all tell the difference in that? To make it kind of have like a, a glow, kind of just in the center. I'm get me a little bit more. Looking good, Trina. Thanks for sharing your expertise. Oh, well, thank you, Michelle. Oh, wrong spot, Trina. I was putting that in the wrong spot. Let me get me some more floating medium. I do this I'm really thinking about putting putting a little bit of um some dots my lights Kind of got a glare on me. I've got to lift it up a little bit so I can kind of see what I got going on. All right, so that's it so far. Now let me put, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this territorial beige. Just a little bit of it. Which that's really that all I've got in that bottle. I'm going to use that same paintbrush. And I mean just a tiny bit. I don't want a lot. Hey Trina. Hey Miss Kathy. Well thank you. Did you say floating medium? What is that? Uh yes yeah, Sharon. Floating medium. It is um I I'm, I'm, I'm really don't know what it is but it just makes um 
makes it easy to blend. It's kind of like using water. You know, when you're blending, just makes your, it makes your piece kind of, makes your colors like blend a little bit easier together. And I did put just a little bit too much of that blue. I meant that brown right there. That was a little bit too harsh. And a little bit too much, too harsh there. But yeah, that's all that is. And I picked that up from Hobby Lobby. And like I said, it just makes it to where when you're blending different colors, it makes it a little bit easier to, to get them blended. I'm going to try to pull up some of this brown. Kind of like going from the bottom to go up to the top. But I don't want it to be too dark. Just like that. Looks amazing. Well, yay, Amanda, thank you. Hey, Natalie. What was I doing? Oh, the brown. I was pulling some of the brown up to the top. Just to kind of pull in. I'm gonna put some kind of right there. All right, something I did forget to do was I forgot to paint my edges. So I'm gonna comb real quick with my darker blue and go ahead and get my edges on this one. The reason I'm gonna do it with the darker blue is because my shading that I have going on is with the darker blue. Hey Trina, can you send me the link to change my subscription to the new way? Loving watching you. Robin, I sure can. So you want the bundle membership? There was someone else that wanted that as well, and I've got to get on there and get the link specifically for the insiders that has been my, my founding members because the price will be a little bit different for them. just because they was the founding members and they got it at my, the founding cost. And I'm pretty sure that you've been a member of my Inside Scoop probably since the beginning. All right. So, ta-da, there's my edges. Do you put the medium on when you first put color on your brush? Sometimes I do, Karen. Sometimes I do. Can you explain how you attach wire to hang up this piece, please? Uh, Rachel, what I would do is I would drill two holes up here at the top and then just put my wires in the hole. And you can use a drill. Um, I like to use a Dremel and I just, just drill the holes right there. I've got this one. See, this is the one that I painted the other day on here with y'all. And I used big old rope, so I kind of had to make, and see, so this is what I paint my back. I painted a solid brown. But, um, and I just drill the holes and I put the wire or either the rope, whatever I decide to use to hang it up with, through those holes. And, like, with this way, I tied the knots on the front just because I kind of like the knots showing. It just, to me, it gives it more of a antique kind of look. But, yeah. Like I said, if I don't use the rope, then that's, I drill the holes to put um, put the wire through there as well. Some people, they just staple their, like a, their jute. They use like the jute rope, and they just staple it to the back of it. But um, I've always just drilled little holes where I wanted to put it at. 
And that's the way that I will go about putting my wire hangers. Okay, I'm thinking I want some dots on here, but I'm thinking I want it to be, let me get another plate. I'm thinking I want them to be okay. Yeah, Robin. Like I said, I'll get you straight, and I will probably I'll probably have to email you the link the link to be able to um to switch to the bundle membership. But yeah, y'all remember tonight is the deadline. I may open my the inside scoop back up the end of August or maybe September. Um, I'm not really sure. So, if you've been on the fence about it, I promise you, you won't have nothing but regrets once you start seeing me posting different things that we're doing for August because, y'all, they are super, super cute. Looks good without the dots. Oh, Deb, you don't, you don't think I need to put dots on there? I would put the dots on here and then come back and bring out the lines that kind of separates or makes the sections of the pumpkins. So it was still, I don't know, I kind of want dots because I want it whimsical but still have the shading on there. I think I shared. I've never done it before. Oh, <laughs> this story. Uh, it, there should be just a little share button down at the bottom of the screen. You should be able just to click on it and then it may pop up like where you want to share it at, like your, your personal page, and just hit like, hit it again, I think. That's sad. I can't really remember exactly how you do it. I'm gonna try to do some dots. I mean, if I mess it up, then all I gotta do is come back over it and redo it again. So, I'm gonna try some of the dots and it's gonna be with the, the Dutch Aqua. All right, loving the dot idea, you'll be you will love her teaching. Oh, thank you, Miss Shirley. <coughs> Uh-oh, got another one that says no dots. Love it like it is. Okay, we're going to try the dots. And then, like I said, if we're not loving the dots, I can come back. And they're not going to, like, pop out at you. I'm going to tone them down to where, you know, to where they're not going to be. The center of attention with it. They're going to be very, very lightly light on here. And like I said, I will come back through and put like the the little sections off on top of the dots, so it will still have the sections of the pumpkin showing. Can I lay them up there? No, you cannot. <laughs> Go, Lord knows. I don't even want to see a sweet potato. Advertise them, baby. I don't want to advertise your sweet potatoes. Those sweet potatoes is taking up my space, my room out there. I'm not good with sweet potatoes right now. See, it's not overpowering. It's not going to be, like I said, dark, dark dots. And then once I come back over this with the brown, it'll just, it'll look good, y'all. It's going to be cute. Uh, Miss Kathy, I'm not sure if I want to do the green or the mustard. Which color do y'all think should be next? The mustard or the green? And this is a spring green, so it's a very light green. It's not as bright as the green that we did the other night on the other pumpkin. I don't think so. I think it's a lot lighter. Looks great. Very cute. Well, thank you, Miss Kathy. All right. I hope y'all still gonna like it because I went with the dots, but like I said, I wanted to kind of still have it whimsical, but still, you know, do some of the shading to have it realistic. So soon, I'm gonna hit it with a blow dryer because, you know, it has like little bubbles. Mustard, mustard, green, mustard, mustard, green, halos, be 
these colors are using. Thank you, Rachel. All right, so I think it's mustard it is. It's going to be the next color. I'm going to get these completely dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and redo my sections. the little sections of the pumpkin so we will go with mustard next see I don't think these I don't think the dots are like too overwhelming to where it makes a huge difference and like I said once I actually get the sections back on here you're not really gonna be able to tell too much that there's that there's dots on here I don't think it was too overwhelming to put the dots. Okay, so what are y'all thinking? I like them very faint, but just classy. Jesse, yes! Yes, 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 yes. And like I said, I'm still going to come back, like, putting all the the sections coming back so it kind of the sections will kind of you know pop out pop out at you all right now i'm going to come back with my brown i'm going to put a little bit of the brown See how that's turning out. Thank you so much, Sharon, for sharing. I love polka dots always. Rachel, yay. I'm, I don't know. Like I said, I'm learning how to do the shading, but I'm also used to whimsical. So it's a little bit of a challenge not to do a little bit of whimsical. So I'm kind of having like to ease myself into it and still have it looking good. <laughs> I'm just coming back over with that blue so my brown won't be quite as as bright going on. All right. So see, you can still see the sections. You're welcome. Love the blue color. Well, thank you. Um, is it Mario? I don't know if that's an A or O at the end. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. So do y'all see? I know y'all can still see the dots. Let me turn this light off. It may help with seeing the dots. So you see, you can still see the dots a little bit, but they're not just like popping out at you. It's not going to be the first thing that you notice when you're looking at this pumpkin. It's hard to stop from overdoing it. Yes, Kathy, it is. I'm a very, there's sometimes I have to say, okay, Trina, put the brush down, leave it alone. It's good to go because you can, you can add, add, and add, and add, and then wind up adding a little bit too much. So we're done with the blue. But I have, I've, I've had to kind of like make myself just stop adding stuff to it. It adds depth. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Nan. The colors did turn out to be really, really pretty so far on that blue. So we're going to come in and we're going to work with, um, the mustard now. Now, I'm probably going to have to mix some mustard, I meant some black with this mustard, or maybe some brown just to darken it up so I can have something to shade with. 
Marlo. Is it Marlo? <laughs> okay, I see the L now. The L and O. I'm half blind, y'all. And then when I'm trying to look at my phone and I'm not really blinking too much, my contacts are dry out on me. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of brown to this yellow to see if I can get a, a lighter, I mean, a darker shade of leto. Leto. Yellow for um for some of the the highlights. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's gonna make a good shade of yellow. Okay, maybe maybe a little bit more darker. Thank you, Nan, so much for sprinkling the love and sharing for me. I appreciate that. gonna try to get a darker mustard color this king's gold is about the only color that I could find at Walmart today that said mustard to me so and I didn't want a yellow yellow so some people may not think that this is mustard but clothes wise this is what I imagine what I see when I think about mustard okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started with the mustard now. Let me get me some floaty meeting on it. Do you have one already painted? I do not, not one like this. Now I painted one the other day um, on a Facebook Live and it was one done like this. But this one's gonna be totally different. This one's gonna have more, I think more of a whimsy look. I don't, I'm not sure what we're doing here. I'm not sure exactly how this one's gonna turn out or what we're gonna do with it. But yeah, I painted that one the other day if if you wanna catch it. It's, you can go into my videos or either go down and look into my, on my wall and it's, it's still up there. All right, so we're gonna come in and we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start in the center here. Now these two colors may not cover quite as good as that blue because we all know yellow is a little bit hard to cover trust the colors <laughs> all right have no dip my colors the opposite of the way I dipped my blue because I put my paints on there a little bit different all right can y'all see any of the shading going on what do you seal them with it's such a nice finish um Karen I sealed them with rust-oleum clear gloss And I get it from Walmart. I may have to come back and do a little bit more of a darker. We will see once we get this going. Once I have enough. Actually have all of my wood covered. Because I'm thinking this is going to have to have another color. I mean another coat. Because this sure ain't covering too good. Might have been best if I would have painted over it with white first. And then came back. And did this part but no going back now we've already started we've already got this going on I can see the blending the different tones I'm going to go ahead and get the center going on because we're going to have to do more coats than one. Unfortunately. Anytime you have a color like this that's hard to 
the cover your wood definitely start off with like a white kind of like a prime kind of priming a little bit most of the time I don't ever just buy primer I will just use my regular white paint and kind of use it as my primer okay definitely gonna have to do some more coats on this I always paint mine with white Waverly chalk paint. If I'm using yellows and orange, they don't cover well. No, they don't. They drive me crazy. But I thought with maybe this King's Gold would cover a little bit better than what it's doing because my wood's not dark at all. But it's, um, it's not. So I'm just gonna have to put coats and coats and coats on this and kind of hope for the best. And hope that it kind of starts covering itself. This may not be looking like a a mustard yellow on the, on the camera. It's kind of looking orangey on the camera, but I promise you, it's a Keen's Gold mustard looking color. got some little ridge going on here that I do not like. I don't like to have a ridge with my paint. Okay, there we go. All right, I've got to turn around, kind of look. Thank you, Miss Kathy. The shading looks good. You can't tell on the video that it's not covering well. It looks really good. Oh, well, good, Miss Rachel, which it is like a um, it always seems to look really good on the video when it comes to coverage. And I know some people's probably thinking she just, she goes out of the way and just makes it, does too much. But, um, a lot of times it will look like it's got good coverage on the video and then in real life it doesn't. <laughs> and that's why I always have to kind of put coat at the coat at the coat. Alright, so we're just going to kind of let this dry a little bit because if I continue just sitting here rubbing wet paint on wet paint it's just gonna be pushing that paint around which it might be getting pretty close to being covered just I got to go down there at the bottom one more time where that blue's at because that's definitely coming through on that on the bottom end there. What do you seal your door hangers with? Um, Gina, I use, thank you, Miss Tammy. I used a Rust-Oleum, thank you, Miss Dory. The Rust-Oleum outdoor gloss. I actually have a can right here, I'll show you. Excuse me, it's the 2X Ultra Coverage, or uh, Ultra Cover, but it's the clear gloss, it seals, protects, and revitalizes, and if you look down here at the bottom, it says fast drying, non-yellowing, and UV resistant. That's one reason I love this one, because it helps with fading in the sun. I did get the blue color from Walmart. It is by Folk Art, and it's the Dutch Aqua. Hey, Miss Pam. So, yeah, this is what I use to seal my door hangers. I'm sorry it's backwards for y'all. Thank you, Miss Betty. So, this is it so far. 
And like I said, this is not an orange. It's a real pretty mustard color. But I'm gonna take the darker one and kind of go. Yeah, I'm sorry if y'all hear burping and stuff. I have a house full of boys that has no respect and a husband. Just trying to get that bottom cover and then kind of pulling that darker yellow up towards the top. And I'm gonna come back over here with this darker color. Let me go ahead and get my edge while I got it. Or while I'm thinking about it before I forget to get it. You're welcome. Okay, let me hold it back over this light and make sure that I can see it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown. Oh, I got the brown. Let me take a little bit of my, that. The ivy, not the ivy, the antique white. What color was it? Vintage white. And I'm mixing it kind of in with my paintbrush that I still have all of my I'm just going to kind of put it in the center there. And it just kind of highlights the center of the pumpkins. If y'all can tell the difference in that. Can y'all tell the difference? All right, so I think we're gonna be about done with this one. Let me get a little bit of that brown and I'm gonna put the brown, kind of do my lines and I'm using the very tip of this angle brush to do this with. Trying to be careful with it because it is kind of a big brush to be doing, doing this. This is so pretty, love watching you paint. I've tried, but just haven't gotten the hang of it yet. Miss Kathy, just keep on trying it because I am very new to shading. I have been scared to death like to do shading and blending just because I've been so used to just doing the whimsy and keeping things to where, you know, it doesn't actually look realistic. And, but it, to me, it totally makes the difference you can still keep the whimsy and still go in with highlights and make it look good so I have been practicing and I can tell that it's totally improved from my first time ever trying I love the, the little white highlights in that pumpkin it really brings it out well, thank you, Tanya. Lena, I want one. I love those pumpkins. Thank you, Lena. Thank you, Denise. So, yeah, don't be scared of them because, like I said, I was for a while, for a long time. For a long time and did not want to try it. And then finally decided to try it. And I can tell I have. I've gotten a lot better than what I, than what I was when I first started. All right, now we're gonna come in and we're gonna go with the, the green color, which is gonna be the mint green. To me, it's called like a mint green, but it's called spring green by Apple Barrel. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of you to say. I'll need to watch replay to see the beginning. Oh, Denise, it will be up as soon as I get off of here and you'll be able to catch it from the beginning on the replay. Thanks for the hearts, Tanya. All right, so we're gonna go in with the spring green 
and I'm gonna see kind of what color it brings. And I may have to, I think I'm gonna just gonna make a, my own shade of the spring green a little bit darker. And let's see, adding the brown worked last time, so let's see if the brown will work this time for the green to make it a darker shade. It doesn't work and I have to use it and make a a darker shade with some some black okay that's gonna be good that's gonna be good all right so now let's do the top pumpkin and I'm still using the same angle paintbrush. This is a three quarter inch um, paintbrush. This is a master touch. I get these from Hobby Lobby, but they're a little bit on the price end. So any paintbrush really would work. Where, there's my medium. I had to find my medium. Now let me see if we'll be able to see the difference in these colors. I don't think so. So I may have to wind up getting, getting a different color green to do the shading on this. I'm thinking I am. So I'll just, since I've already got this going, I'm just going to continue with what I'm doing then maybe come back and blend in some on the edges to do the shading. Hey, will you put this in water in a jar back there before it dries on my sponge? Thank you, Misty, for sprinkling the love. Hey, Misty. I so love this. Oh, thank you, Miss Kathy. Like I said, this one is going to Miss Amanda Daniels for sprinkling the love for me the other night during my live. Um, I'm gonna try to start having a little bit more giveaways and stuff for y'all okay i'm really thinking that i've got to add a darker color on the edges of this because it is not i'm not seeing a difference i'm gonna go ahead and kind of go in with what i've got on my brush and see yeah I'm not seeing a difference. Can y'all see a difference in there? Not really. Hey, Miss Kathy, is there a template? I love what you are doing. Uh, yes, um, it is. I have, um, I actually have like three different style of the stack pumpkins on my website. Um, my VA, Christine Smith, just commented a link if you want to head over and just click that link and go and check them out what size is this door hanger do you sell the templates so miss linda yes i do sell the templates um this one this one's about 24 inches long and the widest point is about 16 and a half inches wide now the one on my website may be a little bit smaller um but you will receive the jpeg i mean not the jpeg yeah just the image the jpeg image so if you want to use it in a block poster and do your own sizing you can totally do that as well you're welcome miss penny and thank you for sprinkling the love I really love this one. Oh, well, thank you, Tammy. Love it, like watching the one you did for your sister-in-law. Well, thank you. Thank you, Amanda. 
And thank you, Miss Linda. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to find me a darker green. use this green hauser or hauser light green and see how it does. If I miss anybody's questions, I'm so sorry. I will try to come back. You're the best painter I have seen so far. Thank you so much. Your shading if is so nice. Make it look 3D. Just beautiful. Thank you so much, Miss Dale. What is the green color you are using? Love it. It is called Spring Green, and it's by Apple Barrel. I picked it up from Walmart today to do this, to actually do this pumpkin with. Ooh, I'm gonna knock my phone down. Okay, if I missed any of your questions, I'm so sorry. Um, if you wanna comment them again, what color will the dots be? Um, probably just gonna, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do any dots in the middle, and I may add some dots to the pumpkin up here at the top. And if I do, then I, I may do, I would love to do like the antique white dots. I think it would really stand out and pop. But then I'm wondering if it'll be a little bit odd just to have this one solid. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, y'all tell me what you think. Should I add dots to, to the, um, To the middle part or leave the middle part the way it is and add dots up here and if so what colors do y'all think i haven't been painting door hangers very long love the shading hope i can get as good as you are oh miss linda thank you so much miss linda i do have um a group where i teach others how to do their door hangers and how to paint so if you're interested in being part of a community and me helping you out um you definitely need to check that out you can go to the link above that I shared. And um, get into my group. That shading is really, that color is really popping on this one. No dots, no dots. Darker green, I think. Leave the middle as is and dots on top. Leave middle without. This is beautiful regardless. The middle looks beautiful. I'll leave it as is. No middle antique white for the top. Yes, do dots on top. You're good with color. Okay. And I'm getting this light, this Hauser light green. And I'm having to come and do my shading with that color with the green because my mix, my nose is getting stopped up, y'all. If I start sounding funny talking, I apologize. My mix of colors with my green did not work out. It wasn't like popping the way I needed it to pop. So I'm having to do a darker or darker green on this. And it's looking pretty good from this end. I can actually see where I'm highlighting it at. Or not highlighting, kind of using it to shade. All right, now I'm gonna come in the center. Yes, two dots on top. Okay, I read that one. Leave mustard plain, dots on top. All right, Amanda, no dots on the middle, but top. We would love to have you in our group, inside scoop. Thank you, Miss Shirley. Yeah, I have some wonderful women that's in my in my group. And like I said, y'all, this is it. This is the last and final night that y'all can get in for, um, for August. And y'all do not want to miss what we got going on for August. I've got some really fun things going on. We're going to be practicing our hand lettering, uh, making some floral stuff. I'm showing you how to do some bundle techniques to add to your door hangers. We're doing a rusting technique to add to do with our craft. It is really going to be really awesome. Where are you located? I am in, <coughs> excuse me, um, South Carolina. All right, so Miss Amanda, you want lighter green dots on the top to where it's very not too noticeable like I did on the bottom, or do you want like the antique 
white dots on the top. Can y'all see the, the shades of the green now a little bit better? You let me know, girl, because this is going to be headed to you. Antique white dots. All right. That's my girl. <laughs> I tend to like to go a little bit wild, y'all. A little bit more of the extreme and take chances on making things look a little bit different than some people. But luckily, they always kind of kind of end up to be good and look good. They have been times I've added things and I'm like, oop, and have to redo it. But for the most part, they have turned out to be pretty good. I'm just adding some more of that darker green to bring out those sections. And I don't know why I'm really wasting a lot of time on doing it right now because we're going to add the dots. And I'm going to have to like redo them anyway. So I'm going to stop on it. Can y'all tell the dots? Yeah, Amanda, I was hoping you got the dots too. Camden, South Carolina here. Use light color. Do you cut your own pumpkins? I do, I do cut them. Agree, antique white dots on top. Antique white looks better. What part of South Carolina? I'm in Eagle Elgin, South Carolina. Antique white dots, okay. Yep, I'm in, um, when I say Barano, nobody really knows what Barano is or where Barano is. But um, if you, let's see, Turberville is more, probably more known, uh, or either Florence. I'm not from Florence, but I'm only about, probably about 30 to 45 minutes away from Florence. Uh, Sumter, I'm about the same distance away from Sumter, Sumter as I am in Florence. I'm going to bring in some of this lighter color, this the antique white color and just kind of blend it a little bit. So yeah, a lot of times when I say I'm from Bear and everybody looks at me like, what? So. Wait a minute, if I'm missing your comments, I'm so sorry. Ooh, y'all see how my paintbrush just did that little swirl away from me? All right, y'all see that now? Hey, Allison. Just join your group, so excited. Oh, yay, Karen. Well, I'm so glad to have you. Hope you have a lot of ladies to join the group tonight. They will not regret it. I love it. Love so much fun learning new techniques and spending time with you. Oh, thank you, Miss Kathy. That was so sweet for you, for you to say. <laughs> Miss Dory. Miss Dory says that she cuts everything. Trina is a ninja with a jigsaw. Miss Dory, every time I cut now, I think I think of you saying that I'm a ninja with the jigsaw. Looks good. Thank y'all so much. I know where that is. Do you have a shop and sell them paint? I do not. I don't have a shop. I actually work from out of my home. Jesse says, woohoo, Karen. I joined after her last live. So stoked. So yay, Miss Jessie and Miss Karen. Yep, Jessie joined last night. She's been probably in there snooping today. I have a lot of ton of stuff in the units already that people can get. When they join, they can go ahead and start learning from the get-go, from day one once they get in. Thank you, Kimberly. I want this with the same colors. Oh, well, thank you, Tracy. Um, I'm just not, okay, before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead because if I keep on adding, I'm gonna have to come back anyway and go over the, the lines. So, 
that shading is on point, girl. Thank you, Allison. Y'all, if y'all have not checked out Allison yet, she is from Happily Handmade by Allison. I mean, by AJ. She is actually the one that I've been watching a lot of and learning how to do all my shadings. And she is such a pro. I'm telling you, she's she would probably be a little bit modest and say, oh, no, I'm not. She is a pro at the shading and stuff. Y'all head over and check hers out as soon as I get off of here because y'all will absolutely be mesmerized by her her shading i'm gonna add smaller dots to this one uh denise my group is um let me get me a, another plate real quick i have my regular membership which is 37 dollars and then i have a bundle membership which will be where I actually ship you the two cutouts for the two designs that we're doing each month, and it is $67. Also, if you get in there and you do the, the bundle membership and you watch my tutorial tutorials and you kind of think, you know what, I might can do that because this girl makes it look really, really easy because I will make it look easy for you. And if you change your mind and decide that you want to try to cut them out and then you get the hang of it and you're cutting your own door hangers out, I will switch over your your membership to where you're the regular member and then you'll be able to cut your own door hangers out. So I hope that kind of, I might have just been all tied to them and got you all confused by saying all that. But if you do the bundle membership and you figure and you later on decide that you want to cut them out yourself, I can totally switch it over for you. <laughs> There we go. That might be a little bit more to understand. So, yes. Yeah, so, there's one for the regular membership. $37. And then, the other one, the bundle membership, is $67. All right, y'all. We're going to go in with the... Thank you, baby. With the antique white... Mm -hmm. All right, what are y'all thinking so far? They seem like they're kind of popping out a little bit. We're, I'm a think I'm gonna tone it down a little bit with something. I like how like the colors are. I like the colors on. I'm thinking I really need to tone it down. Did I paint the edges? I didn't get my edges on this green part. Yeah, I think I'm going to tone it down. I might put, um, maybe, dun, 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 maybe another brown color on top of this. Because these dots are really popping out like crazy. Y'all see how they popping out? Those are bright. What do you use to stamp it with? This is just a regular paint oil. It's a sponge. I call them, they're called dabbers or pouncers. And you can get them from Hobby Lobby or Walmart has them. Or Amazon. Too bright, too bright. Yeah. Hey everyone, these pumpkins are gorgeous. Who is the other person you talked about that you like watching? Uh, Miss Allison, she is, she owns Happily Handmade by AJ, and she is the bomb when it comes to shading. That bundle package is a bargain. It is, Dory. You do get a discount for doing the bundle package, and you're only paying $10 for each cutout that I send you. Yep, darken it. Yeah, I think so, too. Tone it down a little, but beautiful like the way the blue dot, dots look. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tone it down. And the only way I can tone this down is maybe let's go in with that same green. Let's try it. We do the same green or either do it with, um. I'm gonna mix it. That's what I was gonna say, mix white with that. And before they dry, I'm gonna kinda go over and kinda tone them down a little bit. And we're gonna see how that turns out. Where that antique white is still gonna pop out. 
we're almost kind of like doing a shading with the, the dots. Okay, how about that? That's not quite as bright. I think that looks a little bit better. Have you ever used oil paints? I have not. I've never used oil paints. I've always just used acrylics. Do it like the bottom pumpkin, same contrast of green. Yes, that's great right there. Miss Kathy, yes, like the way the blue dots look. Yeah, okay, well, I must kind of stay with this so far. I think the the green will be really pretty. Cool. But um Miss Danielle, Miss Amanda, you like it, Miss Amanda? So Amanda says that she likes it. Still a little bright. Love it, love it. Is it still a little bright? So Amanda likes it, and Amanda's actually the one that is going to be receiving this. So Let's I'm gonna it. leave it as is. Cause it's not as bright. It might be brighter on the camera than it is actually like in person. Trina, you have gotten awesome with the shading. AJ is awesome. I'm working on shading, not so much whimsical. But love, <coughs> shading is very fun. Yes, it is very fun. Katasha, I love it. Needs to be darker. I like the grain with the dots, especially after you redo the lines. It'll do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's redo my lines. Let's go ahead and get the lines redone and we'll see how it looks then. Let me flip it back this way. All right, let's flip it around and let's do my lines. Where's my darker colors? Oh, trying to find my plate with my colors on it. The runaway plate. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start with our dark color. We're gonna come and we're gonna, oh, I didn't dry that. Let me see if I need to dry it. Yeah, if I don't dry, it's gonna pull that green light color over with my dots. So let me dry these dots real quick. Thank you, the tiny. Let's dry them a little bit. It's perfect like it is. You tone it down a lot. Love it. But thank you, uh, Natasha. Yeah, I did tone it down a good bit after um putting that green on top of it. I mean, it toned down a lot. Which was which Amanda? Do what? Which Amanda one? Oh my, my dots are still not too, still aren't dry, dry. Okay. Do you, do you open membership to your group each month? Is it Tilly? Um, I don't. She only opens it a few times a year. Yeah, now I may open it um, the end of August, the end of this month, but if I don't, then it, I may open it like the end of September, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't wanna tell you I will and then I don't. Um, so, I'm pretty sure I will open it up the end of August or either, you know, for September. But if I do, uh, I don't know. I hate to say I will and then I don't. And I hate to say I, I won't and then I do. Um, but this will be a really, if you are on the fence about joining, this will be a really fun month for you to join because I have some really, really, um, amazing things to teach the group this month when it comes to door hangers and adding different things to your door hangers and doing florals, um, like doing the, um, the bundle technique. And then our craft is super, super fun this month. So if you're on the fence, this month is actually a really good month to join. Thank you, Nan. And I'm not just saying that, but um, it really is. But if you don't join, you will have a chance um, before this year's up to join. I just can't guarantee that it will be in time enough. It, 
like to get fall done. I'm just gonna add some brown, like I did with all of them, and then we're gonna blend those in. All right, so we're gonna kind of blend it in. And we're blue. I like to blend these in because I don't like that brown to be too harsh. All right, so that's it. See, I think that kind of toned everything down a good bit. Do you have set nights that you do your lives? I do, Denise. Thank you, Ashley. Um, once you're in the group, we I post a calendar in the group so you would know exactly what the month is planned out like. Um, you know exactly what day we're doing what on. Are you using an angle brush and what size brush are you using? Linda, I am using an angle brush. It is a three quarter inch angle brush. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna come and put some brown on our stem up here. I think I'm gonna use this dark brown. Mama, what baby? That did not sound good. Baby, do not put that in your mouth. All right. So, I'm gonna come. Well, I said a dark brown. I put that paintbrush in the water and I still got to. I still got to hit my edges. Maybe I can. Let me get my edges real quick. If you don't have a laser cutter, or if you order your blank door hangers from somewhere and they don't do, they don't have a laser cutter that actually burns your edges to where they're black on the edges, I do highly recommend to get your edges painted it just makes your door hanger look so much more polished and overall just looks better. Where's, just my little opinion. Where's the polka dots in the middle? We're not putting polka dots in the middle. That's where you put in the middle. All right. So there's my edges on that. That brown has got to be gone over one more time. All right, so what do y'all think? I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much, um, Katasha. Okay, thanks. I definitely would join at some point. I'm just swamped with life right now and don't have a lot of time to devote to it. Um, tell I completely understand. I completely understand. Thank you, Miss Kathy. If I join this month and my doctor wants to do surgery in September and I am unable to do anything, can I skip a month? Wait a minute. Oh, it's not letting me see. It's not letting me see more. Wait a minute, um, Mergy. Okay, there we go. Am I unable to do anything? Can I skip a month or two because of being bedridden? Mergy, um, if something comes up like that, then um, I'm not no bad person. So I would definitely, I could cancel your subscription. And then when you're able to come back and you want to rejoin, then I would definitely let you back in, even if I don't have it open. Thank y'all so much. Oh, Amanda, I'm glad you like it. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Teddy. All right, do y'all think I need to do anything else to it? I will, since this middle piece don't have anything on here, I probably will make a pretty bow to probably go here and then have it like going down and stuff. Since I, like I said, since I don't have a lot going on, 
with the, the design. Oh, I'll go look for my. Okay, thank you. It is beautiful. That muster is gorgeous. Thank you, Margie. Thank you, Miss Shirley. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Susie Frost, amazing. Oh, thank you. Those colors, Christine, those colors are beautiful together. Thank you, Christine. Actually, Jessie, one of our new members in Inside Scoop, she commented on my post today during, on my page, um, these colors. So I cannot take credit for these colors going together. She actually said the teal and a mustard color, and then we're, we kind of decided on the green, so don't need to do nothing else. All right, I was gonna come and put like some more darker highlights. I don't know, maybe or some, I don't know. Okay, I won't do nothing else to it. I don't think, I may get off here and then decide it's gotta have something else, I don't know. Oh, I was gonna do something for the dots. But I don't put my green lines. Oh man, I could do them on that side. I don't know. Okay, I'm done. Beautiful combo. Yes. Can you paste the name of the colors? Oh, uh, what did you say the name of the mustard paint is? Wait a minute. Okay. Um, Miss Kathy. Get you a pen and a paper real quick. And I'm going to call these names out to you of the paint colors. Because I cannot say I will. With the, the way the kids are. still got They're still up. So I probably won't even think about posting it. Or you can screenshot it. I don't know if you'll be able to. You won't be able to read it because of the color. But the mustard looking color is actually just King's Gold. By Apple Barrel. Um, then, <coughs> sorry, I have this cough I cannot get rid of. Then the green up here at the top is the Hauser Green Light by Folk Art. Swirl on the stem. On the very top, that's a tiny little stem. It is like very tiny. I've got to go over, that's got to have another coat on there. That would be cute to have the swirl on the top. Um, the stem and then the brown that I used going like to do some of the hot the highlights was the nutmeg brown. No, no, my bad. Sorry, no, that was just for the stem. Then I used a territory beige to do some of the highlights here, and then the green was the spring green. I'll take a picture of these and then just post them on my Facebook. How about that? Then I won't have to type them out and stuff. Trina is the bow lady, awesome bow maker. Thank you, Miss Shirley. Bahama Blue. Did I say the spring green already? <sighs> yeah, the Bahama Blue. And the Dutch Aqua. Hey, Gina. Thank you so much. And then the Vintage White. I'm going to take a picture of these and I'll post it so you... Um, we we'll do it that way. You'll have them that way. All right. And once I get the bow, a bow for them and get it sprayed, I will post a picture of, um, a picture of it completely finished. So I'm going to put these together. And like I said, I will come and I will do, just take a screenshot of a picture of these and then post them, post a picture of them on my page for you then i also add this floating medium in there for you so if you want to try it when you're doing some shading you can try it all right so ladies thank y'all so much um like i said tonight is the last night so if you want to join my yes take a picture i will miss murray so if y'all want to join my inside scoop tonight's it we are in the final hour so make sure you head on over there you can click the link above um, or you can hit the shop now button and go on over to my website and get signed up so you don't miss out on the awesome designs that we've got um, planned for August. I was going to say July again for August. Thank you, Gina. 
Beautiful as always, Trina, gotta go. Y'all need to join us. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Dory. And like I said, I do have the bundle membership to where I will actually cut them, the wooden door hangers out and ship them, ship them to you. Um, you can read all the information you want to, or if you have any questions, just comment or either message me and I'll be happy to help you. But y'all remember, tonight is it. This is it. All right. I will talk to y'all later.